Hey what's up, my name is PJ and in this video we're taking some studio portraits here with my buddy Panda on the Hassi medium format film camera. Hope you enjoy. Alright, so pretty much this is my Hassi 500cm. With it we've got the waist viewfinder as well as the 50mm uh, Distagon lens that it's got. In the film we've got the 400 uh, T Max or TX Kodak in there, so it's a black and white film. Uh, it's got a really nice fine grain to it. So, very excited to see what we can do with this. Um, so, if you come around here, Panda, we have synced it with just a regular sync cord to 3.5 to the Pocket Wizard Plus X here. In here, we have another Pocket Wizard Plus X, and it's triggering the Godox ES400P, which we have a lovely beauty dish on here. So, um, we had another shoot planned for today which got cancelled, so Panda's over here now and we're testing out for the first time shooting uh, portraits on in like a studio setting with the medium format uh, film and it syncs which we're, we're super happy and excited about so um, let's get into it. We've taken some test shots with the 5D just to make sure that we have the settings right and we think we've got them where we need. We've got the um, one of the films the first one we're using is a 400 speed, and we've also got, uh, what's the what's the Fujifilm Panda? FP100C. FP100C, uh, 100 speed, which is like the uh, print, like the Polaroid um, film. So let's do it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna shoot one frame metered for the natural light portrait, because behind me here, we have a nice window. And then we'll do a couple each on uh, with the strobe on, shooting with the beauty dish as well. So right now we've only got the settings for when we're using the strobes. So uh, we need to change that. So we're going to press this little button over here, change that to an F4, hold that down, and we're going to rotate the front part. So this we're going to go... Giant, it rotates both? It rotates both. So if I was to do that, it would compensate that way. Unlike digital cameras where it's all within the body, this camera here, it's completely different. So it's all about the lens. The lens has the shutter speed, the depth of field, or the f-stops, if you want to think of it in that way. So everything that you need to use is on the lens. The Including body, the shutter, the shutter's in the lens as well, isn't it? Uh, on this case, no, the shutter's on the body. Okay. On some cameras, it's actually on the lens. It's a bit of a weird, depends on the body, depends on the type that you've got. So what settings are we at? So right now we are at uh, 15th of a second at f4. I'm going to quickly check the focus on you. So pretty much with this Hassie, if you want to take a shot, you've got to make sure you remove this dark slide. If you don't remove that, I can't take a photo. In three, two, one. Sweet! Oh, that looks awesome! <laughs> <laughs> I get you to walk sideways actually. Sideways? Yeah, I'm liking the sideways look. So in three, two, one. Actually, you know what? Can I get you to like come a little closer? Yeah. Is that cool? Could you possibly bring this shoulder forward? Yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Here we go. Three, two, one. Alrighty. Cool. Right now, you can't see anything. No. No. <laughs> oh, one well, first. Yes. So once you're happy with how you've composed and stuff, that's when I pull out the dark slide. Yep. Yep. And was focus on here? Yeah. Focus so where it says the feet. So if you pull this, got an extra like magnifier. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. I think it's good. Well you find out when the roll's done, eh? <laughs> <laughs> um, cool man, so uh, I actually like you quite square and just tilt your chin down slightly. Mm -hmm. and actually up again and face that way a little bit. Yep, that way. And I was actually talking about the other way because it's backwards in here. Yeah. This is really weird. Yeah, how yeah. weird is that? <laughs> uh, and um, just look straight out past me over there and dark slide out. Yep. And three, two, one. Oh, it's so weird being Flash. on this side. Yeah, that, yes. It's weird being on this side. <laughs> Such satisfying sound. It's just, right? You know it's ready. That's yeah. what I love about it. Straight down the barrel for this one. Um, blank face and just a little squint, a little tiny squint. That's it. Yeah, man, three, two, one. Ah! Dark slide! <laughs> Got you again! <laughs> three, two, one. Did it flash? Yeah, it did. Yeah. <laughs> nice! 
So pretty much every time you wind up this guy over here, you have this counter here. So right now we've just shot our 10th frame. Yeah. In this case, now got to wind it again. And now that definitely should say 11. Okay, so one thing I'll say about this is it's really a, it's a whole process. It's something that I am really bad at because I'm not used to doing it, but you basically you have to wind, compose, focus, remove dark slide, and then take the picture. And I kept getting the order wrong, particularly the dark slide, taking it in and out really was confusing for me. Here we are just shooting the final frames, making a couple of more candid pictures so we could get on to the next roll of film. So pretty much what PJ has just done, he's taken the final shot. So now we have to take out the roll. So this is the back. So he's just finished that roll. So here we've got this little sidewinder, yeah? We've got to flick that up, push it all the way across and away we go. And when it gets really loose like this, we know we're done. Usually I just like to remove the dark slide so I can just confirm that there's no film just hanging outside. Flip this guy up, give it a twist. That is our roll. So that's long and skinny. Long and skinny, like a tube. Yeah, so it always comes with this um, spool. So pretty much when you finish a roll, that all that paper or film was on this spool originally. So what it's done is just lived around and joined this guy now. That's why it's really crucial not to throw these out, uh, when I first started, I won't lie, I did the dumb thing and threw it out. So what's fun about these as well, you usually have to um, tuck that under, so even though it says fold under before sealing, mm -hmm. so you usually just flick that up. It always comes with like a little sticky bit. So just roll that across, make sure that's all done. And sometimes it has a little peel, but I know with a lot of the Kodaks, it's a bit more of a lick. So apologies. <laughs> Fun times. Yeah, get it wet. <laughs> That's the roll. Nice. This is the Polaroid back. Uh, this uses um, the Fujifilm FP100C. Unfortunately, I know that Fuji's decided to discontinue this. Yeah. There's still batches out there, but price is definitely jumping up. I did a massive haul of these guys a while ago at the start of the year. I have gone through three packets and I think I have four left. Okay. So in each packet you get 10 shots. So basically this film's mostly rectangular, but as we know, the Hassie is a square when it takes the image. So you will get a little black outline within the frame, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. All right, so now I'm just gonna mount it. Got the pressure. All right, and da -da -da -da. there we go. It's all snug. Finished off the uh, black and white 400 ISO film. So now we're going to jump over to the 100 ISO color film. Uh, seeing as this is Polaroid, obviously it's in color as well. So we need to change the settings on the lens. And just before we also took um, a few dummy shots just to make sure we get the settings right. Pretty sure those eyes didn't focus. It's gonna remove the dark slide. All right, three, two, one. So excited to see how these look. I'm very excited. It's so pretty much taking a Polaroid and it comes up with these little strips. So this is the seventh frame out of this packet. And to take out the Polaroid, I've just got to yank this guy. So that's that. Now I've got a little lip. So from here, just pull that out. That is our shot being developed. So the developing time of these change on the weather. So right now, what would you say the room temp is? So we'd have to wait about a minute and a half. So usually, so you may or may not notice that this is all wet, so that's just the ink running. And so now what we gotta do is peel from the side, pull that out, shut it slowly. Oh, and that is our man oh. Peach. Damn, son. I'm not sure if you can see from here, but the negative has also got it right How there. How cool is that? That's technically eight, so we can do a double exposure to see if that actually comes through. Because it might even be like the shutter with this guy. Because remember how you said it didn't click? Yeah, it could even be that. It feels like ready to go. It Everything felt ready to go before though. Mm. <laughs> I'll do it! 
It was so, so real, it was so natural, I was just feeling it. <laughs> How did, so, so the focus is good, I'm pretty sure the focus is good. Yeah. Film, this is what happens Ooh. with film, forever on That's edge. Film. Oh, I love that. <laughs> what is with my face? I actually love that, man. It's a little bit soft. I think it's the actual film itself it has a bit of a soft tendency to it. The lighting is sick though. I love that though. Absolutely love that. It's very um Rembrandt lighting kind of thing. Moment of truth. Ooh. Oh, that's actually cool. That's actually really cool. Back in the day, um, they'll use this to test out the light. Yeah, so that's yeah. That's how they meet it, which I think is insane. That's crazy. PJ doesn't want to load this, so um. He's given me the duty. So this is a spool that I was talking about before that um, comes with the roll of film. So now that was originally where the roll was. So now I just gotta flick this guy out, grab this out and put it over here. So lock that in. So there's a reason why you lock this guy in. So now when I pull the film across, I need to get into that little lip there. So move that back across. So now we're going to shoot on Portra. Um, this is by far one of the most iconic color films there is. Simply because if you overexpose it by a little bit, you get these really nice pastel colors that everyone just goes crazy for. So, um, little fun fact, if you're looking into film, hey, start off, just go Portra. That's a nice ambient film that everyone seems to love. Um, yeah, usually you'd find it easier to make sure that you can get under that little grip there. So we're going to pull that across. And this is where it gets interesting because you've got to make sure you feed it through. So that's why it's got that little turny... What's the word for it? Knob. Knob. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so I usually here roll it in a little. So it's got something to chew on. I'll lock that in so it gets nice and tight. Here there's gonna be an arrow that pops up, so I'm gonna make sure, there it is. So that arrow has to line up this little red triangle up here. So that matches up, we're all good. Mm -hmm. We're ready to get this in here. Flip that around, put that in. So that would be our film exposed in a sense. Cool. So obviously this is where the dark slide comes in handy. Throw that guy in. And that's what prevents your film from constantly being exposed by accident. Yeah. All right, let's get ready to shoot some portrait. This guy has a counter on the side. So right now it says zero. So like what I did when I finished my film, it's gonna wind it up. So now I'm just gonna wait till I hit number one. It should get very tough. I'm at one. And we're ready to shoot this roll. So at this point we were basically both doing this thing where we try and distract each other with questions and snap a frame in between to try and get something more candid. We'd already taken a few shots each of each other and we'd done the sort of, I don't know, set up serious kind of unnatural expression. So we were trying to sneak a few uh, natural ones in, not all of which worked out as you can see from that one. But when you do get a nice one, a nice in-between laugh or smile, it really, really pays off. Yeah. I just want to be sure. <laughs> did you just strike over? <laughs> yeah, you did. It was so good. How many times has that been with the dark slide? Like three or four. Like yeah, I think it's four now. My issue is I'm not used to doing this, and I always stuff up the order. And my main problem is I forget to take out the dark slide. So as you just saw, that was me trying to sneak one, and. I stuffed it up, I forgot to take out the dark slide, which means the shutter doesn't trigger.
Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's been an absolute blast. It's been like an accidental thing. We had something else planned for today that didn't work out. So Panda came over and we just mucked around, shot some film and made some portraits and it was really good. And I learned a lot. I hope you did too. If you did, give me a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll Bye. see you in the next video.